Today we're going to talk about setting up and priming your PCA pump. First, you'll need some supplies. Make sure you have your medication, a needleless port adapter, a saline flush, and your IV tubing kit for a PCA pump. Your pump should have a pulse ox, a plumb A pump, as well as your PCA pump. Finally, you're going to need to get your key from your nearest Pixis. That's a PCA pump key. It'll open the door. First, open up your IV set and you'll find a plunger piece. Take that plunger piece and screw it onto your medication syringe. Once you have that finished, you can set that aside for now. We won't need it. Next, grab your saline flush. And for this demonstration, we're going to trade that out with something that's colored orange. And use your needleless port adapter. Attach that to the end of your flush and give that a quick prime to make sure you get all the air out. Your IV kit has a Y port and attached to that is a pigtail. The pigtail does not currently have a port, it'll remain open, so that's why we've grabbed that needleless port adapter, screw that onto the end, and just prime this pigtail from the pigtail down to the patient end of this tube with your saline. Once you finish with that, make sure you clamp it off. And when you detach your, your saline, make sure you leave that port adapter onto the end of your line. Now you can take your medication syringe and we're going to attach that to our IV line. So go to the other end and you'll find the adapter piece. And you're going to want to screw that onto the base of the plunger that we just attached to our medication. Once that's nice and tight, take it over to your PCA pump and we'll get started. Unlock the door with your key. The key allows you to use the PCA pump the buttons won't function without it, the door won't open, so make sure that key is in place and turned, otherwise nothing will work. When it starts up, it'll do a self-check. If everything runs okay, say continue, and then it'll ask you if this is a new patient. Say yes. That will erase all patient history data from any previous patients that use this pump. That way there's no old medication orders still sitting in the pump. Your syringe has a barcode on it, and we're going to put that in place in line with a barcode scanner that's inside of this pump snap it into place and it may take a little bit of adjustment but get that barcode lined up so that this the reader can scan that barcode once it's in place push this down until it clicks the base of that plunger into a clamp sitting at the bottom of this pump opening the barcode will read the medication and then you'll have to verify which medication that is and it's going to ask you if you want to purge yes we want to purge purging means that we are going to purge the air from this line or prime it with medication and in order to do that, you're going to need to hold down this purge button. Don't just push it once, it won't work. Make sure you're holding it down the entire time that you're purging. We've tinged our medication solution blue so we can see it a little bit better. And as it starts to come down, we'll go look at our saline. Now you've still got your pigtail clamped so that nothing's going to backflow into that. And you can see the air is starting to push air bubbles through with our orange saline. And we're clearing that from the line. Eventually the blue medication comes all the way through. Nothing goes back up into that pigtail and the pigtail is still primed with saline. Now, if you also need to get fluids attached, you can run those through your plum A pump and attach that to the port that we put onto our pigtail. Because we primed it previously, there's no air in that line. We're ready to go. Fluids can run concurrently with your PCA pump. 